Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 10th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day outside. Hot upon all my levels, a bit of rain here and there, but overall, pretty good day. Um, got up this morning, dog got me up at like 5 a.m., apparently it's when he decides he needs to whine at the door. My guess is it's when my mom starts moving around, whatever, and then he hears her, and then he comes whining at her door which is near mine, I hear them, and so on and so forth, but it is what it is. But I got them, got up, got them outside from there, uh, brought them back in, decided, you know, I'm gonna lay back down and try and get a little relaxation, a little cuddle time with my wife, and cuddle up with her a little bit, and she sleeps, like, she'll cuddle up against me and get some real good sleep in, and she's got her head on my chest kind of thing. Most of the time, I don't fall back asleep, and this morning was one of those, I, that did not happen, but... Overall, it was a pretty good time. Um, got a few other things done. Finally did to get up. She got up and got around. Got all the dogs fed. Um, got a couple of things done outside. I did hop in the hot tub for a short, tiny little bit. Not that long, but a little while. And then my wife and I were going to um, run up to look for some supplies we need for the house. Some flooring, some appliances, paint colors, ceiling fans, so on and so forth. All that good fun stuff. And I had a client who was going to pick their dogs up at like 8 a.m., Text them last night, make sure they're still online for 8 a.m. I said, probably closer to 9. I said, okay, that'll work. So I had that weird, I was like, yeah, 9 o'clock. If I go to Home Depot right in the opener at 8, I can rush through and get here. And I thought, no, it'll wait till after they're done. So went in and hung out. I got a couple things taken else around here. They showed up, picked the dogs up. My wife went across the street to work on the house. She got a few things done over there, removing wallpaper and just removing wallpaper is a big one. It's, it's ridiculous how much time this has taken. So she went ahead and she worked on it for a while. Um, got it, got as much she could get done, I guess done. So she headed back over. We jumped in the car, headed up to Port Orange to go to, she wanted to go to Lowe's. I guess there were some color schemes she saw, some patterns, I don't know, something she saw, some flooring online that she thought Lowe's had better selection at Home Depot. And I'm like, hey, whatever makes you happy. Ramped there, we hit, checked them out, um, ended up, Spending quite a bit of time in there at a couple of little places. And then she's like, do you want to go over here and check this out? And I'm like, no, I think we're kind of, we're gone long enough from the dogs. I need to get back to them. Plus she had to, um, she had a hair appointment to get her hair did today. And was going to get, I don't know, some kind of treatments and stuff. And found she couldn't do the treatments and then still go in the water. And she wasn't supposed to sweat for like, I don't know, four days or some crap after the treatment. I'm supposed to wash it and can't go in a pool for like two months or something. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, this sounds like magic. But sounds like voodoo witchcraft they're gonna say oh well you got it wet or you sweated so you ruined it yourself and whatever so she said i won't be gone that long i said okay cool when you go up i'll take care of the rest of the stuff here i took the dogs across the street started removing wallpaper working over another new house and then from there i was gonna get my run in get my shower and go meet her on our way back when she got out of port orange we we're gonna meet at new smyrna at the home depot and basically check it out go from there you realize you're kind of blocking the walkway right you're not supposed to be blocking the walkway? Right. Yeah. It's rather a really unsafe place to be. Fucking oh, piece of shit. So anyway, so I was like, cool. I'll take care of all that kind of stuff. Whatever, no big deal. I'll meet her up there. We'll check out what Home Depot also has. We haven't taken the time to really just walk through there together and knock it out. So then she said she found, I guess, the new treatment way to do it. She can actually swim and stuff, so she's gonna have it done, so it'll be a few hours, so that canceled those plans. So I was like, okay, no big deal. Went ahead, started working on the house over there, just getting as much done as I can in this stupid house. Just, it's a lot of work, it really is. And a lot of it, we I can't move forward on different things until we get the floor color picked out. She won't pick out a damn floor color. And, and then she's like telling me, I need to pick it out. I'm like, this isn't my floor. It's like, this is, yeah, it is what it is. So we gotta figure it out, but it is. Um, got that done, got my shower, got all taken care of. We decided instead of meeting afterwards, uh, after our hair appointment, to just um, go ahead and say to hell with it. And she picked up a pizza. She had to drop off stuff to her father in Port Orange anyway, so I called up a little pizza place they're called Italy's, I think is what it's called, and ordered ourselves a large Supreme. And had it picked up, it was gonna be 25 minutes or so, 30 minutes. Gave her plenty of time, stopped by, dropped stuff off to her dad. And then went back, grabbed it, brought it home. By the time she got here, it was a little bit cool, which we expected to be the case, but it's half an hour, 28 minutes away away. So, knocked it in the microwave, had a couple slices, uh, watched some NCIS, and then headed outside to play with the dogs. Hung out with them, had a client supposed to pick the dogs up by nine. Said, if you're not here by nine, pick them up tomorrow. Told you that at the beginning. 
all this time it's all been over and over and telling you that and she's like oh we're gonna be a little bit late the traffic blah blah we'll be there by 9 15. i still want to pick him up tonight and I, I, i'm like hey you gotta be kidding me they texted me at 8 45 and said traffic at the airport was horrendous and they're gonna be extra late and i don't know if i could pick me to steal i'm like he's like well we'll tip you and i'm like yeah whatever so i said fine but meet me across the street at the house across the street because i didn't want to pull in the driveway and the headlights and getting all the dogs barking and stuff super late so went ahead and put their dogs up uh, took their two dogs across the street got the beds and all that kind of stuff there and the food and everything we needed and then hung out there in the garage for a little while waiting for them to eventually show up and once i got down i came back over tried to sneak in the house i'm making the dogs bark and waking everybody else up and finally was able to finish up my cigar and head to bed so that's pretty much what the day involved Karen came home with her hair treatment and it's like a straightening treatment or something. I don't know what it is, but it looks looks nice. I'm trying to keep all the frizzies down. I think it's called keratin. I'm not sure what it's called. But it's supposed to keep all the frizzies down and keep her hair from being quite so wild, I guess, is the way you want to look at it. So anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.